Hold up. Yeah. All right, so step number one. You want to open Steam, go to your library, games, right click CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, click Properties, and go to your launch options. And now you want to copy paste these, um, these commands. I'm going to put them on the description. So you just want to control C them, copy, and then paste them. And uh, click OK. Alright guys, so step number two. You want to open up Razer Cortex. If you do not have it, I'll put a link in the description. And what you want to do is go over the boost tab. Um, I already boosted mine, so I'm going to restore it. So this is what you should see when you open it. And you want to set the boost level to recommended, not custom. And then just boost now. And what this is going to do, it's basically going to clear some of your RAM that you're not using. And hopefully increase your performance. Alright, so step number three. You want to open up your browser and type in NVIDIA drivers. So you want to go over the official page of NVIDIA, the NVIDIA drivers, and um, you're going to select what driver you have. So I have GeForce 900 series, I have the GTX 970, uh, what windows you have. I'm using Windows 7 64 bit and the language, of course, English. And then you want to search. So, what this is going to do is it's going to find the latest drivers for you, the latest game drivers. And this is definitely going to increase the performance in games if you don't have the latest drivers. You just click download and agree and download. And now it's going to install it. So, after it's done, just open it up and follow the setup. Alright, so step 4, you want to open up your NVIDIA control panel. Now, to find it, you can right click your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel. Or just manually search for it. So, NVIDIA control panel. And there it is. So, you just want to click it and open it. And once it loads up, so let's wait for it a little bit. Alright, so now <clears throat> you want to click manage 3D settings and then click program settings. And now you want to choose the game. Uh, we're going to do CSGO. And then if you can't see CSGO, you just want to press add and then you should see it here. If you can't, browse it and you'll find it just go to your steam directory program files steam steam apps common and then csgo and then csgo.exe and click open so mine is already here so i'm just going to select it and now we're going to play around with all these settings so i'm going to set them up and then i'm going to pause the video set them up and then continue and you guys can just copy what I've done alright guys so these are the settings you want to use as you can see here so just copy them and then you want to press apply down here your program is gonna freeze for like 5 to 10 seconds don't worry and after you've done that just close the control panel and you're set to go Alright, so step number five, you want to open up this link, I'm going to put it in the description, and basically we want to unpack our cores, so for some people this works, increases performance, for some it doesn't, but it's worth trying it out. So you want to come on this website, which is going to be in the description, you want to download application executable files, and I already have it, but I'm going to reinstall it for you guys. And once it downloads, we want to extract it on our desktop. So drag it and extract it here. Alright. So once we got that, we want to open it up and run unpack cpu.exe as administrator. 
and we want to check our status. So once you load it up, uh, I got three cores right here that are parked. You want to press unpack all. So this is going to unpack your cores and hopefully improve your performance. So let's wait for it. And there it is. As you can see, status unpacked. And yeah, just close the program. That was it. Alright, so for step number six, uh, we want to search for system. There it is, system. And then all the way on the left, click advanced system settings. Then advanced, settings, performance, settings. And then we want to set it to adjust for burst performance. And um, and we want to tick the box, use visual styles on windows and buttons. And this is basically going to, as you can see here, it's going to make it run faster, but it's not going to look as good. But it will increase your FPS by a little bit. And yeah, the reason I tick use visual styles on windows and buttons is this you'll see right here makes your system look like a windows vista so you do not want to untick that just tick it apply and there you go okay and close it all right so for the last step step number seven you want to do two things one is um run an antivirus download one i'll tell you good one a pretty good one and free is malwarebytes that's what I use you download it and you want to run a quick scan trust me your computer might have a virus and you don't know it or some trash files that you do not need that slow down your PC so download it run it and restart your laptop or computer and see how it goes one more thing you want to do is overclock now you try that on your own risk if you're on the computer it's you can try it it's all right it's not that bad but if you're on the laptop it can overheat pretty easily and yeah you want to search up for some overclocking videos depends on the graphics card you have you can use msi afterburner or nvidia inspector i like msi afterburner it's easier and yep yeah, Play. I'm not gonna teach you how to do this and you try this on your own risk as I said so good luck thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more tutorials and stuff like this one I also upload a lot of CSGO clips you can check them out on my channel below and thank you for watching